What's up everyone, Professor G here. Listen up, because today I'm going to tell you why it's way better that if you're still in high school, you should be doing dual enrollment at a California community college instead of AP, the advanced placement. The first reason is people are trying to tell you that you need to do AP or IB, that kind of stuff, so that you can earn college credit while you're still in high school. But what they forget to tell you is that's not the only way to do it. All of you high school students in California can start taking community college classes while you're still in high school, ninth grade, 10th grade, 11th grade, or 12th grade. And best of all, it's gonna be free because for high school students that are doing dual enrollment, tuition is free. So the next reason why you should take dual enrollment over AP is because in an AP class, you gotta be in class the whole year of high school. In community college, you do not. You're only in the class for one semester. One semester in a regular semester could be as short as eight weeks or as long as 16 weeks. You can finish way more classes by going through dual enrollment at a community college than you can by taking AP or IB tests. Another reason is when you're doing the class for AP or IB or whatever, you gotta not only take the class for the whole year, but you also gotta pass the test at the end of the year. And if you don't pass that test, then you receive no credit. If you're doing a class at the community college, all you have to do is literally finish that class in the semester and you're gonna receive credit for that class as long as you get a passing grade. Let me give you a quick example. Say you're in three AP classes in high school for the whole year. At the end of the year, you're gonna to have to take three AP tests. And if you don't take the test or you don't pass the test, then you've earned zero college credit. At the same time, there could be another student that's taking three college classes while they're taking their high school classes through dual enrollment. That student's gonna have, as long as they pass the classes with C's or better, that student will have nine units of college credit. Those same nine units of college credit can be used to double count credit at the high school, which then and of itself eliminates more high school requirements. Here's another reason. Most students are taking all of those AP classes during their senior year. Well, the problem with that is that during your senior year, you're stuck in that class. You're not gonna take the test until the end of your senior year, and you're not gonna get the results until the end of summer, which means you already signed up for college classes. So you're not gonna know which classes to sign up for. If you had gone to the community college and used dual enrollment and finished the classes, you're going to finish the classes at the end of May and you will have a grade literally a week later, which will tell you now that you've finished those requirements so you can register for your college or university classes now that you graduated high school way quicker and with more assurance.